Hello, hello, my dear, lovely, and warm Cancers. This is your horoscope for March 2024. Now, March will be highly positive month, mostly. And looking at your chart, I loved it. And... Uh, and you know planets like a people they are telling the stories and they are like also communicating with each other and in march they will be in a very friendly uh you know relationship with each other which will make our life also <laughs> impacting to our life in a very positive way and we have eclipse in march first eclipse of 2024 and eclipses are like elevators of the universe they are bringing events to your life with a you know um sudden manner that is changing your life completely uh but they are always always um doing it for your own good and don't forget to check your uh, moon sign and ascendant sign a rising sign too because they are also important and uh, every person has three signs sun sign moon sign and rising sign if you don't know them you can go on google and there are like a lot of free bunch of like uh, free resources where you can draw up your natal chart all you need the time of birth place of birth and timing is very important just so you know um and you can see, look at your chart and look where the moon was uh, when you were born and what sign was uh, rising, ascendant on the horizon when you were born. So those two signs are also very important. And all three signs of uh, ours brings all the events to our lives and planets are telling the stories. <laughs> Let me tell you the story of March for you, my dear Cancers. March will begin with North Node meeting up with Chiron. North Node is another way to call it a dragon head. Um, I would like to speak about dragons because it's a dragon year. In February, there was a Chinese um, New Year. And uh, in according to Eastern calendar, it's 2024 is the dragon year. And in astrology, there are... Two lunar nodes, North Node and South Node. North Node is the dragon head and South Node is the dragon tail. And they, you know, this is mathematical points. You cannot look at them in the sky. <laughs> they are just um, mathematical points counted uh, in your natal chart. They show, uh, this is also called a destiny line. This dragon is a destiny a north node shows where we should be heading to, where we should be going, and where we are going. Where is like, um, how to say, what is our purpose of this lifetime? And south node is showing what is, um, you know, should be released. What this is our past, where we come from, who we've been in our past lives, and also it also can show um, shows what we should be, you know, relinquishing, like. Uh, living behind and moving towards our north node sign um, just check the interpretations of the sign uh, that uh, your uh, lunar nodes are located you know in your natal chart and Chiron Chiron is a uh, now this is an asteroid but in uh, ancient mythology like Greek mythology Chiron was a um, like a mythical creature uh, half human, half horse, and he um, had to say known to be a healer and also a teacher, teaching something deep healing and con connecting with your north node. You know, meeting up uh, in the north node with the north node on fifth of March in your tenth house. Now this is a domestic placement. It's amazing, and tenth house in is an angular house, one of the four important houses in the natal chart in the zodiac you know um like there's two lines horizontal and vertical and when they you know they are crossing each other and they're like two points pointing arrows so first house a uh, fourth house seventh house and tenth house that's why they are called angular houses and they are very important 
and your north node currently is in your 10th house, house of career, house of social status. 10th house is the highest house in our needle chart. It's like showing the, you know, on, on if you look at the clock, then it's the 12th, like it's the midday or midnight, uh, number like the 12 o'clock of the day and it's the highest point of the chart where everybody sees us we have a reputation where we have a power and that's why it's a career house career ladder house the highest one mm, highest positions and the social status like social status like becoming a father mother or grandfather or becoming even a student a professor like it's titles as well here and north note you know meeting up with Chiron in your 10th house it's amazing it might bring you a few things to your life that I will mention now but not all of them will happen uh, one or two might happen you know <laughs> we are a lot right cancers I am also a cancer son and I am highly um, how to say waiting for this uh, meet up between these two but let me tell you that north node and Chiron conjunction was already um how to say showing influencing us since february they are meet up will be exact on march of 5th but they were already in a very close proximity to each other since february up until april will be in that way uh, but the um, exact meeting up like coming to the same point in the chart will be on 5th of March happening and all these three months February March and April you might feel they are conjunction and their conjunction happens let's say very rare because Chiron you know takes 50 years to make a full circle uh, of the zodiac and it spends roughly four years in each sign and you know um because of that, Chiron and North Node meetup is quite rare. Last time it happened in 2008, uh, but in a different sign. You see, uh, and happening in your 10th house, it's even more rare. <laughs> now, North Node, um, uh, here are some topics. Uh, let's begin with social status. Your social status will be moving towards being like being a healer might you might be on this journey um or being a teacher you know uh, and please write these things uh, about these things to me in the comments uh under the video so i know that uh what i'm speaking and it really resonates with you and those cancers who are really on this journey i wish you the healing and teaching success um and 10th house happening in your 10th house you will get recognized for that meaning you might get such a power such an influence over people to show them to guide them how to heal uh, our body how to or how to teach and it doesn't matter what the subject maybe you are a math teacher you will excel in that or you are i don't know you are physics teacher or um some spirituality teacher as well like healer and their uh, energy practice like this practicing like working with energies as well it, it doesn't matter which area but it matters that your social status will be shifting to the one that is who has power, who has influence, who has, uh, let's say, a word <laughs> to say about healing, about teaching. Uh, Ten house is also house of career. Now, some cancers, they will be getting to the highest point in their career. Uh, you might, you know, actually feel this call um, become maybe a healer or teacher or some uh, like or someone who helps a lot or someone who is helping to achieve that and um, you might be in general in whatever area you're working you might be getting a new position and that position will entail quite a lot of um, responsibilities because it's the high profile position or a totally new job like in a new company Ten house is also house of father's life some of you might be getting uh, a news maybe your father becomes teacher or professor or your father is in you know gets interested into this healing practice or he might get cured you know or healed from any injury or traumas 
physical and mental it doesn't matter mm, like if you like if your father was uh, let's say struggling with some injuries or um, psychological traumas now this will be the time when you will see improvement um, on their healing journey and Chiron will help in that um, and Chiron also associated with number two because Chiron is you know consist like it's a mythical creature uh, which is half human and half horse two incompatible parts uh, and because that's why it's number two it might be all the topics that i'm uh, mentioning here just associated with number two it might be that you're getting two jobs or it might be that you are getting two positions in two schools like a healer somewhere and a teacher somewhere or you mm, but you know um it should be usually it's usually like two incompatible things like two different totally different things from each other so you might be acquiring something too different or you have a two jobs that are different like in the area maybe you are interested in physics and your main job is in, in the area of physics let's say uh but at the same time you are a yoga teacher mm, it, it you will become a yoga teacher you know it might also possible um possibility here 10 house is also house of uh prizes you know nomination or title it's also status that gives you status you know in a society uh you might feel that you are actually helping a lot of people um especially like um you know pluto planet of transformation uh is currently in your eighth house transiting your eighth house for the next 20 years <laughs> and this conjunction of North Node and Chiron in your 10th house, status house, might suggest actually that you will be heavily invested, heavily interested in astrology, like spirituality, numerology kind of things, like all things uh, associated with um, um, esoterics as well, you know, uh, and you might get interested. And if you are already a professional, some sort in this area, then this time will be a recognition time for you, my dear cancers. And let me tell you, you deserve it hundred <laughs> percent. You are such a healers. You are such a sensors of uh, human energy that you really might help, uh, to quite a lot of people and you will be getting nominations as well and titles maybe you are learning from a teacher in tibet or maybe you've got a mentor uh like uh, and you've been learning something and now you're gonna achieve some sort of level in that learning and you will get a certificate this might happen too now uh let's move to mercury 10th of march mercury will be switching signs right before a few hours of the new moon uh 10th of march we have a new moon as well but mercury let's talk first about mercury mercury is the planet of communication planet of messages planet of a signing contracts this is our, our little postman of the universe that is bringing messages to everyone <laughs> every planet and to everyone like to every human uh will slip into your 10th house from your ninth house and um you know it seems like previously previously you've been really busy with kind of foreign documents travel documents or your education all sorts of kind of uh, signing up to courses on all these kind of things but now when mercury on 10th of march will move into your 10th house house of career house of social status mercury brings all the communication all the talks to your career to your job house might be that you will be negotiating let's say a new job a new position for yourself a new title or totally negotiating with a new company um or even actually signing contracts because some uh, some uh, cancer sorry will already be signing contracts when mercury as soon as mercury moves into your penthouse that is on 10th of march so watch out that day um and i highly really uh, suggest you advise you to sign the contracts if you are in the negotiation process i would a little bit speed it up and sign it uh, during this month 
and preferably before 20th of March because Mercury will go retrograde 1st of April and give it like 10 days before even retrograding like plus 10 days because those 10 days are shadow period when it's already starting slowing down and when Mercury retrogrades meaning moving backwards like moving slower uh, um, never never good to start new things to sign the contract being a ruler of signing contracts <laughs> because then you will if you do sign a contract during retrograde mercury then you will have to somehow resign it or add a clause or change the uh, some you know uh, requirements some things about that contract something will be off all the time or in the future you will have to you know it will not be for long as well it might be that way too so do it before 20th of march and um what else what else i'm thinking 10th of house is also house of you know father our father so it might be that you will be in communication with your father quite a lot or some news coming up about his life uh, something new in his life is gonna be happening and he will be sharing uh, it with you um and 10th of march okay let's move to the new moon there is new moon Mm, in your ninth house new moons are all about new beginnings new moons are new stories new chapters something new is gonna start you know and uh, uh new moons or full moons usually you know they don't bring messages right on that day only like few uh how to say people will feel the new moon will get the news of the new moon exactly on the day that it appears in this case is 10th of march but um all others we usually get it five days before the new moon during these five days or after five days you know when new moon already appeared in the sky so 10 days influential new moons and full moons so the news coming up at around the new moon date is the message of the new moon and in this case uh uranus planet of surprise planet of electricity planet of all <laughs> unexpected things <laughs> and innovation will send a beam of opportunity now this is amazing right i mean uh uranus mm, will send this opportunity to that new moon to this new moon that will uh happen in your ninth house on 10th of march at 20 degrees and i will tell you which uh cancers will be affected the most in a minute uh uranus will be situated in your 11th house and new moon will appear in your ninth house ninth house is the travel house let me tell you what kind of topics might come up and again one or two might come up in your life but not all uh it depends where we are right now right in our life journey um uranus is the house of you know in the house of hopes in the house of dreams and your future uh currently transiting it and it will be i guess transiting until next year or the uh, uh day after i mean a uh, year after i'm not i don't remember i will tell you uh later now let me tell you the areas that it, this new moon might bring new uh messages to you uh which areas will be touching it um might be a surprise travel like um last minute decision trip it could be possible because of uranus actually with uranus you never expect what is coming up but um let me try my best <laughs> that actually the, the travel that you will love the travel that you like you will like so much my dear cancers because this is highly positive new moon or it might be that your friend will make a surprise visit or will make an offer to travel to you you know it will be coming up from a friend Mm, this kind of offer last minute offer or surprise or they actually might visit you or uh, that travel will be actually somewhere you wished for a long time and that's why you will love it when you will know <laughs> the destination um this might also happen um nine house is the house of foreign affairs like all sorts of documents that you've been dealing previously the months like february january like visas residence permits uh and like all sorts of travel documents and um 
if you are still in the process, like you are waiting for a visa or a residence permit or you're applying, then there might be a, a positive surprising turn, you know, and you might get it rather quickly and for a long time. Ninth house is also legal affairs. Some cancers, those are who are involved in legal affairs, like uh, if you are involved in a uh, legal battles, like uh, cases and or you're just following some cases, legal case, then it might go as you wished, actually, for your own surprise <laughs> and everyone else's. Mm. Ninth house is education. Now, those cancers who are wishing to, you know, uh, enter university or apply or graduating it or who are like students or uh, learning something, then there might be some nice surprises from universities that are far, like a foreign universities, like in another country, it might be that acceptance letter is coming, or it might be they are inviting you. Um, Ninth house is also house of teachers, house of uh, wise people. You might be becoming a teacher in a university, like let's say all of a sudden a job opportunity to teach at some universities, or like even foreign universities considering that um there is a you know movement in your penthouse like a status house it might be that you will get that offer to teach in a foreign university uh or heal in a foreign land uh nine house in general is a house of luck that that's why this new moon is highly superb new moon because it's happening in your a house of luck you know and it's a positive new moon you might get lucky in something actually quite sudden or even winning in the lottery <laughs> uh you know as uh, uranus planet of surprises it rules your eighth house in your natal chart and eighth house is the house of uh lotteries as well winning like funds that does not belong to you but uh, is coming to you through other people or governmental structures. So Uranus might give you this beam of opportunity to win the lottery. So go and buy lottery tickets, but don't gamble anyhow. Um, research. Ninth house is also about research. If you are a researcher, some kind of breakthrough are due in this area of your research like you might be discovering something or opening something up to the world uh, and that will be you know quite unexpected and positive one um ninth house is the house of grandchildren if you are at that age it might be that uh, you might know that you are becoming a grandparent that you also haven't expected <laughs> maybe you are too young or maybe you just for some reason haven't expected to be a grandparent again but yeah here it is uranus might bring for you this news um also religion nine house and beliefs what we believe in you might discover some new concepts for yourself like in a quite shocking way actually for your surrounding um like uh, let's say people will be quite shocked <laughs> uh, because you might be opening for yourself new religion new belief system Mm, or new experiences through new experiences and ninth house is actually house of like uh looking for uh, searching for a meaning of life and you might get to what you search for my dear cancers and also i would like to tell you one uh, one hiccup of the month here now first half of march and uh, uranus this surprise the planet uh will be in a disagreement with Mars, which is situated right now in your seventh house. And Mars is the planet of wars, actually, and it's the planet of activity in general, planet of sport, planet of um, um, our drive, our motivation. And it's our engine, you know, of the universe <laughs> that is everything fast. And Uranus and Mars, their disagreement is quite an explosive actually uh, aspect happening on the sky and that aspect will be influential for the first half of the march um up until like um, what is 18th of march maybe and the aspect will be exact on 9th of march right before this new moon happens and 
just uh, so you know, uh, take care about the first half of the month. Uh, if you feel that you want to <laughs> get into argument, just hold on to your wise self, my dear Cancers. And Mars, you know, will be transiting exactly the house um, where the new moon appeared last month on the 9th of February. And um, sorry, the, the, I said that Mars was transiting your 7th house. No, it will be in your 8th house, a house of other people's money. And, you know, Mars will come to the point on 9th of March, uh, to the point where new moon uh, appeared last month on 9th of February. And that new moon was not, uh, how to say, so positive. For everyone because at that new moon Uranus planet of surprises made a harsh angle to that new moon and brought surprising news and negative news mostly and those who actually didn't get the news of that full moon I mean new moon sorry on the 9th of February might get the news of that new moon now in ninth on 9th of March when Mars will touch that degree of that new moon because whatever mars touches in our natal chart it activates it brings to reality anyhow whatever will be the news i'm more than sure my dear cancers you are a wise sign and uh, you will uh, you know overcome whatever the news will be don't worry and uh, all other planets will be working in a positive fashion to bring the month of March forward and on a brighter note in general. Uh, okay, let's move to Venus. Let's move, let's talk about love. <laughs> on 11th March, uh, Venus, planet of love and beauty, um, will uh, move into your ninth house, making it uh, enjoy house <laughs> nine house is the house of traveling and uh, venus coming here if you will be traveling around 11 march you will love that travel destination and everything about that trip also it's about education nine house make bringing smooth and more um understandable like way of um learning things nine house is the documents house everything related to travel documents or um immigration status you know will be in a smooth way you know done in a smooth way um that is actually all foreign documents and venus is extra strong and comfy in this sign that is coming uh it's exalted in the sign um that is moving in and that happens that sign happens to be your ninth house my dear cancers uh exalted meaning like showing all the best uh qualities of itself of venus uh venus being a ruler natural ruler of your fourth and eleven houses meaning you might be actually planning next trip or your family might be visiting you around 11th march uh, it's it's an awesome indication here moving to the ninth house okay 20th of march um uh, sun giver of life light of our universe <laughs> will move into your 10th house and illuminating your social status career your aspirations your reputation you might be setting new goals with the arrival of spring march is finally when we have a spring first month of spring uh and sun coming here warming up your let's say vision for your future 10 house 10 house is also father's life you might be also actively involved in your father's lives what is happening there and the news of your father from your father and 20th march happens to be a spring equinox day meaning sun uh, i mean uh, day and night will be same length and we will get the same length same dose of day and night <laughs> light and after that after 20th march day will become more longer and i can't wait for that now let's talk about mars 23rd of march uh mars planet um of action planet of motivation our drive our engine inside of us you know that pushes us to do things which actually rules your career house 
like a workhouse, will move into your ninth house, bringing more energy into your travel house. Ninth house is the travel house, like actually traveling. You might be traveling for work or actually planning your business trip. Or um, ninth house is also education. Maybe you will start planning your um, university documents or start actually uh, your degree or course. Mm, some courses might start, you know, in your life and you will have to attend them. Or also applications for documents that are related to foreign countries or universities, like education or travel. This kind of applications might be needed your attention and a lot of activity will be around this. Or it might be also visiting religious places, like houses. Some cancers will be <laughs> play visiting religious places, houses of God, temples, churches, mosques, uh, however you call it, or... Or you might simply have a desire to learn something new when Mars moves into your ninth house because Mars is our desire as well. Um, ninth house is also a house of publishing. You might publish your research or a book, especially after New Moon that you got a breakthrough there, some new discovery. You might be eager to publish your book, writing it, or actually publishing it, or an article or your research article. Ninth house is also house of second marriages. <laughs> now, why not? You might be in the mood to get married second time. Um, and ninth house in general is the house of luck. This is amazing house. I love this house. And in general, Mars might bring you, uh, you know, kind of uh, faith, you know, kind of belief and confidence in life and luck in general that is in your that is present in your life mm. okay and well march will wrap up with eclipse first eclipse of the 2024 and uh that eclipse will happen on 25th of march full moon lunar eclipse uh at five degrees in your fourth house now that eclipse uh, will happen in an angular house, fourth house. This is very sensitive, very important house in the zodiac, in astrology. You know, just imagine like um, in the sky, there is like uh, two lines that are crossing each other. One horizontal, second is vertical, and they are crossing each other and pointing to four um, directions. And those um, angles are four angles the most important in the chart as well for first house fourth house seventh and tenth now eclipse is happening in your fourth house house of family house of where we come from and eclipse uh you know eclipses will be happening in your fourth and tenth house activating activating it whole year because until they change the signs, you know, and eclipses, they happen because of the lunar nodes. And as I said in the beginning, dragon head and dragon tail will be in your 10th and 4th house, activating the topics in this um, area, topics of these houses in your life, which is a family uh, house and a career house. Uh, and this eclipse, full moon lunar eclipse, will be spectacular you know we'll have a spectacular support from pluto and pluto is such a karmic planet is a planet of transformation and currently is transiting your eighth house and that will be for 20 years you know <laughs> and pluto will send amazing support to that eclipse now let me list you a few things that might happen around this eclipse and just so you know that eclipses have the power of one I mean, of 10 full moons. And um, eclipses, uh, you know, if new moon and full moon, as I said, bring messages five days, like around during the five days it appears, and after five days it already appeared, uh, eclipses, they might bring the news uh, three months ahead or three months after. Meaning like uh, some of the people will be feeling exactly on this day, 25th of March, but most of us will get the news of these eclipses um, during a whole period of six months, three months before and three months after. So give it, give to eclipses this time 
to unfold the stories, to tell you the stories, to bring the stories to your life. And everything will be building up, all the situations will be building up, up until this eclipse and you will be getting changes in your life and eclipses they act as an elevators of the universe you know they quickly push us to the point where we should be otherwise we would be reaching it in 10 years you know <laughs> and they're like elevators they quickly bring us to that exactly point in our life where we should be uh and um Appearing in your 10th house, uh, it's the house of uh, home uh, and family. Let's say you might, uh, some cancers might finally buy a house or apartment or close the deal or like, uh, you know, signing or sell your apartment. And in this stance, banks will be supportive of that, by the way. They will hugely support you. Uh, or any financial or any other financial institutions that you're working with. Um, be it a home renovation also might be finished around this lunar eclipse if you are doing some renovations there, fixing some things. Uh, it's about real estate. And it's not only like a house, it could be apartment, it could be any real estate that you are planning to buy or sell. And it seems like your mind will be around this uh, this topic, uh, as eclipses are really uh, destiny, uh, you know, subject. <laughs> uh, citizenship, immigration, for house. Some cancers, you know, might be busy with immigrating or might be busy with getting citizenships. You might receive your new citizenship status or immigrate somewhere. Maybe you will. It will be exactly the day of your travel. Since your uh, travel house will be, you know, linking actually with your uh, wishes. Because why I say your travel house and your wish house will be um, communicating with each other. Because exactly at this eclipse, uh, Venus and Saturn that are located in your travel house will be, you know, in a mingle jingle, in a positive communication with Jupiter and Uranus that are in your 11th house, house of wishes, house of hopes, house of future. And because of them, your wish to immigrate somewhere to get a citizenship will now materialize, my dear Cancers. Family, family composition is the fourth house that Eclipse is activating. It might be that some Cancers, you will be getting married or might be buying a property together with your spouse, with your partner, love partner, long-term partner, or moving in together. It depends what stage you are in relationship right now, right? Maybe you want to level it up and move in together. You will be doing it around this eclipse and this eclipse will bring that to you. Um, also giving birth might be the case for you, my dear Cancers, since, um, you know, 11th house is a children house and since Jupiter, planet of luck and Uranus, planet of surprises is right now, uh, they are currently transiting your 11th house, house of children will be, you know, lighting up this area of life to you transforming your life meaning like what you think is a meaning of life might change completely by giving birth around this date or by getting a pregnant actually fourth house is also house of mother mother's life parents life eclipses are activating for you their life they're showing their life this year my dear cancers it might be that she will have some news to tell you or might be she will you know write a will leaving you an inheritance and informing you about it not necessarily uh let's say dying or going away somewhere no just maybe she wants to get these papers done and you will be aware of that um, and full moon they are in general you know they are showing like, like they're a bulb of uh, light showing something illuminating something some part of your life or they are bringing closures and in this case they will be illuminating your mother's life um also what else maybe you are getting a sibling maybe your mother is going to be pregnant 
uh, this might also happen. Traditions is the fourth house. It might be that you will, you might baptize, let's say, your child, your baby, or you will have a, like some sort of traditional celebration according to your culture, tradition, what you follow, that you follow around this lunar eclipse. And in general, my dear lovely cancers, you are so affected by moon and this eclipses and new moons always affecting you. And uh, coming back to that new moon of 10th of March, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you which cancers will be the most affected there. Uh, new moon on 10th of March will happen at 20 degrees of your ninth house, meaning those cancers who born 13th of July plus or minus five days will be affected the most. Uh, so that the topics that I've uh, said to that new moon will be affecting exactly those cancers, but all of us, of course, will be affecting, but the most will be those cancers who are born 13th of July plus or minus five days. Now, this was your horoscope for March, my dear cancers. Please let me know what um, the message of the eclipses uh, was in your life. Uh, I would appreciate it and I wish you the best month of March. Bye-bye.